In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite online technology tools. That tool is Symbolu. As you can see, I've launched the Google Chrome Internet Browser and have gone to www.symbolu.com. Now, by default, mine's coming up in French. So it says, this page is in French. Would you like to translate it? So that's Google Chrome recognizing that for me. I'm going to go ahead and translate. All right, and now I should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and X this out. Okay, so what is Symbolu? Uh, Symbolu is just basically online bookmarking in a visually appealing and easily managed way. You can also make your bookmarks public and you can also share them with just a few select people. So let's take a look at Symbolu. Now you can see in the top right corner you have the option to create a free account or to log in. So if this is your first time to Symbolu, you're going to need to go ahead and create a free account. Um, I'm actually already logged in, so I'm going to drag mine over here so you can see. Okay, uh, this this is my Symbolu. Each of these kind of um, pages, and you can see there's several across the top, um, is a web mix. There are a couple of different types of web mixes. We can do web mixes that have these pretty colorful tiles, or we can actually do web mixes that are RSS feeds, like from blogs, for example. So this is one of the example ones that comes uh, with the, the similar interface. Um, titled major news and you can see like it pulls from usa today cnn.com google news um the financial times for example so let's say that you want to add a web mix of your own you can do that by clicking the plus sign here and then you will name yours. So let's name ours demo, for example. And notice you can choose the tiles. Those are the color blocks that you see or RSS feeds um, from blogs. So I'm going to just do the tiles. Uh, you also have the option to search for WebMix in the gallery. Um, new WebMixes are made public every day. So sometimes instead of going to create something new, let's say you have an interest uh, in something particular. I know that there's one, I believe it's called EDU Tools, that's pretty cool. So you could actually just go ahead and, and get that one and start using that one. But if you're going to do some customization and want to add your own stuff, I'm going to suggest that you start uh, with your own exam with your own WebMix. I'm going to choose add. Okay, and I'm ready to roll. So to do your web mix, you just click on the tile. You can create a tile or you can search a tile. If you're going to do something that's pretty well known, like CNN, for example, uh, you can actually find them in the tile gallery. If you wanted to create a new one, you would come up here. So let's go ahead and just type cnn.com just to see what we get. But you can create your own name. Um, notice that as far as icons go, some icons are already um, available for us. It's pulling automatically from the website. So you could actually do this one right here if you wanted to. If you do choose one of those, uh, you have the option to kind of customize what part of the image that you see. Okay. And if you want to show the text on the tile, you can here. Um, if it didn't have a, an image that already pulled up, uh, you could change the color of this tile, and I'll, I'll show you an example in just a second. And you can also change the text color um, from, from white on a dark background or black on a lighter background. And choose save. And there it is. Okay. I'm going to show you kind of an example one that I've done. This is actually for school. These are basically resources for teachers. So I've got kind of their stuff here in this top left corner that they use regularly, such as their email and different forms and things like that. Over here, there are different presentation ideas for them to look at for students. And at the bottom, these are all like free online resources, which are really cool. And, and the orange are a little bit different because they're more um, geared to kind of for the teachers, except this one, obviously, Miss Computer Teacher, you could use with students and teachers. And then these right here are our online resources, like I was saying, for, for students. So let's say I want to share this web mix that I've created. I can choose share up here at the top. And if you share this link with someone, that person can use the web mix. You can push updates to your users at any time. The web mix is private and not available in the Symbolu gallery. Sure, let's do that. Uh, actually, 
think I already shared it, but let me click again. So I've got the Webmix name and I've got a link for it. So I can actually share via email um, if I have everyone's email address, but I think it's easier just to copy the link and to go into my um, email, my Gmail, and just email it to my contact group that I want. Okay, you could also embed the code on a website if you wanted to do that. And notice down here, you can make it publicly available in the gallery or privately with friends. So I've got privately with friends selected for this one and I would just choose share my web mix. And now everyone that I send this link to you can have that and have those bookmarks quickly accessible. I think it's it's useful, um, my own personal opinion, to kind of do like a personal web mix, maybe something for career if you're teaching. This, this is actually, I'll show you this one. This is something I really like. So let's say you've got students creating stuff online, okay? I've got some students working on uh, a few different things and different classes. These are web design kids working on different uh, charity organization projects. And over here, I've got some kids doing some work with either Steve Jobs um, or Bill Gates. So BG, Bill Gates, SJ, Steve jobs so I can actually click on one of these and go and see their work so these are actually uh, Google presentations um, these are in Google sites I believe this one right here is actually in Weebly so as long as they're doing work that's online that's available via a link and it's like a longer term project I'll create assembly for it because I can quickly and easily go in and see their work without having to like find the link in my email or anything like that which is really cool I also think it's useful if you do have blogs that you read I need to finish filling mine out, but you could actually come in here and uh, and do the RSS feed so you can constantly see what's being updated on, on those. Okay, let's see what else. Let me click options here. You can rename, uh, change the wallpaper. So if you wanted to do something different on the background, you could actually do that. And then, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, change the web mix icon if you wanted to do like the different colors or, or, or the for example, I know the stars kind of come up a lot. Uh, let's see here. I've got the stars kind of coming up for those that didn't have images. And you can change the size and you can make your web mix see through. So if I turn that off, oh, there it is. It just makes it a different color. So I'm going to leave that on actually. I like that. On. Okay. Let's do one other thing. Let's actually search for a web mix. So uh, I'm going to come and click the down arrow here and go to gallery. And there's that EDU tools I was talking about. So I can choose view this web mix and see some of the tools that have been put together for me by Kemi C. So if I like what I see, I can choose add this web mix. And it is now added on my Symbolu account. Okay. And notice I can scroll here. Um, at the top. The last thing that I think is useful is knowing how to set this as your homepage. So you've gone to all the trouble of creating this really great web mix and you want to be able to access it really quickly and easily. Um, it helps to have this as a, um, or actually as set as your homepage. So down in the bottom, uh, you'll see set as my homepage. So I'm going to click on that. And notice it says that it automatically can detect them in Google Chrome. And it says click extra in the menu on, of the browser on the right. Select options, basic settings, and type symbolu.com as the start page. Okay. Uh, do you use another browser? Just click the icon on the desired browser at the top right of the screen. Okay. So this is one way to do it. I actually just come in here and choose settings. And then I choose open a specific set of page, a specific page or set of pages. So I can come in here and set it. And then I can set that to some blue. There we go. And choose OK. I'm actually in a the guest browser on my computer, so that's why it wasn't already set. So now when I launch Google Chrome, uh, Symbolu will automatically be my home page. Uh, the last thing I want to show you, there is Symbolu for EDU. Uh, that's actually here. I'll show you kind of the differences of um, the different packages. Right now, I'm just using the free Symbolu, but you can... It, you know, for if you're at a school, you can get like the teacher librarian edition that includes branding and also support by email. And you can do a custom URL, which is helpful. And if you're a school district, you can actually embed 
the Simulu custom embed options, uh, get more support, more branding, uh, check out traffic to your Simulu page, which is pretty cool. Uh, and there's also a dedicated forum. So that's 99 cents per user per year with a one year subscription. So you do get a lot of features, but um, I think it's, it's fun just to start with the free edition. All right, so that is Simulu. Thanks for watching.